TaylorMade Golf has been around since 1979, although it wasn't until 1997 when Adidas bought it and turned the brand into one of the most successful golf manufacturers in the game. One of its famous claims is that more PGA Tour players use TaylorMade drivers than Callaway, Ping, Cleveland, Cobra, and Nike combined. But you may recognize the brand for its fun and easygoing tour players like Mike Weir and Sergio Garcia. In Orlando, TaylorMade and Adidas took fun to a new level as they took up an entire wing in the Orlando Convention Center to create, well, I guess you could call it a fantasy golf dream. With full driving range, photoshopped images with your favorite golfer, putting greens, and even a pool table, that's all part of TaylorMade's quest to make golf reach a demographic of people who never considered swinging sticks before. Something that TaylorMade CEO Mark King knows has to happen for golf to reach the furthest corners of the globe. We got to get the game to be more fun and more inviting to more people, and, and so we really need something to happen that, that allows new people to come into the game that, that don't have to play by this, this, this tough game that we all love. Uh, and then they, eventually they can get into it. But we do our best by making clubs that are easier to hit and hit the ball further, and that's what we do. And I just actually met with the United States Golf Association, and Mike Davis actually said it best, which is not so much a bifurcation of the rules, but a spin-off of the game that we call golf today, so that you could move the ball in the fairway, you could take a three-foot putt, you could move up to tees, and it's not so much about recording a score, it's just about having fun. And even though we wouldn't, we would still call that the game of golf, it wouldn't be governed by the current rules, but we could leave the rules where they are. But there's certainly two ways to go about golf, a fun way and a competitive way. All right, let's talk about uh, TaylorMade for 2012. You guys have some more exciting stuff. It seems year after year that you guys just keep coming out, pushing the envelope and bringing new things out. And Rocketball seems to be a very hot story these days. Bob, it's it's been fantastic. I mean, we really believe it's the best uh, performance enhancement than we've seen in golf in many, many years. I mean, literally golfers are finding somewhere between 15 and 30 yards on their three woods or five woods or rescues. And there's a change in the way the face is constructed, where the center of gravity is, and there's so much hype on tour around it. We picked a name that was very controversial, so we got a lot of buzz about it, but we're really excited about this opportunity. Well, King certainly believes he's got the best gear on the market, but we want to know what TaylorMade's tour players think how often they change the gear in their bags. It's funny because I'm kind of a feel player. I don't like to uh, use a lot of the launch monitors and stuff like that. I kind of like to play with the equipment to see if it's going to work. But, you know, I'm a little bit of a tinkerer at times, you know. I, but when I get something I like, I don't switch it. I kind of hold on to it for a long time. So, you know, the, part of the, you know, companies like TaylorMade and all these other club companies on tour, they want to always have new products coming out. So it's nice that we get all the products, but it definitely takes, you know, a little while to integrate them into your bag. And, you know, when I find something I like, I'm going to work with it for a while. The big thing for me is just playing with it on the golf course and uh, a lot of that's going home and playing the golf course I play all the time and just comparing where I'm hitting it and how I'm shaping the ball and, and stuff and so that's kind of big for me. I need to be able to play it at home. And with all the new technology that's coming out and how you can move the weights around and the face angles and all that stuff, I don't know enough about it. I know a little bit about it and then I really trust the guys at TaylorMade to, to really dial me in on what I need. You don't see me much in the trailer. I, I've had irons that are four years old now. Um, you know, my wedges are a couple of years old, and I have, I have a you know a driver that's you know a year old now. So, you know, their TaylorMade is always trying to push me the new product, and you know I try and hold off as long as I can um, because you know they, they come out with great stuff every single year, and it's hard to not put that new club in the bag. Um, but uh, you know, if it I, I go off if it doesn't if it if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, and uh, I feel really comfortable in the clubs that I have. And, and I'm not saying that, you know, the clubs they come out with right now aren't, aren't great. You know, I've, I've tested a few drivers and we just haven't found the right mix yet. Um, we're going to find the right mix. It just takes a little bit of time for me because I know as soon as I put that driver in, it's not going to come out for, for a while until they come out with another driver. So, uh, you know, you kind of have to keep up with the technology, but in a way you don't want to chop and change too much because once you fall into that category of changing clubs every single week you start blaming the clubs rather than yourself. Uh, everybody likes to have them one way or another obviously that because that's that's what you feel comfortable with but but no no I mean if you talk to the to the Taylor Mick guys uh, you'll see that uh, I just uh, you know I like to do a couple things my way but um, I guess I like to test it a little bit but uh, but if uh, if I see if I talk to, to the to the Telmate guys, uh, to our guys, and 
they show me uh, their good numbers, uh, they give me good numbers and, and then uh, they f and that it feels good, uh, to me that's the most important thing. Um, I'm, not, I'm not fussy about putting them, putting them in play for, for one day to another, but uh, obviously uh, in between the tournament it's, it's tougher.